Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking tweaks once more. Now in this video, I wanna pretty much show you guys my personal jailbreak setup here. These are the tweaks that I use on a daily basis. Now this is a pretty lengthy video, uh, but I hope you guys enjoy the bigger list than normal. I'm trying to condense my videos and uh, make them have a little bit more content in them. So I hope you guys enjoy. Now, all of the tweaks and all of the sources, like always, is in the first link in this video's description on our Best Tech Info website. There, you can install all of the sources, you can figure out exactly which tweak belongs to which source, and you can pick and choose. Now, honestly, this video is kind of an extension of my last video where I covered 35 free tweaks. I'm using some of them in this setup, but I'm also using a couple paid tweaks. And that's where we're going to start today's video. I've narrowed my top list down to 10 of my favorite paid tweaks that I think you guys are really going to enjoy. So with that being said, I've also listed as many free alternatives as I could think of. Uh, so let's just get into things and I hope you guys find an interesting tweak. All right, so starting on the lock screen. Now there's a couple tweaks going on here, but probably my favorite is Photon. If I click the power button right there, we have this awesome looking uh, always on display for the iPhone 12 Pro Max. And if you just tap, it brings you back to your regular screen right there. Now I currently have it set up so it turns off after like 15 seconds ish my favorite part is it works with raise to wake. So it's not super blinding in the middle of the night. And again, you can just tap to uh, view the rest of your lock screen. Now, a couple tweaks that I have going on here, we have complications right below the clock to bring uh, Apple Watch style complications right to your lock screen and they're actionable. You can just tap on them. So super cool. Uh, right below that, we have groupie. This one's uh, kind of hit or miss for me. I honestly, I'm not including it in my top 10, but uh, I'm using it right now, so uh, it, it's okay. At the very bottom here, we have a jumper. Quick OS also does a similar thing, but it basically extends uh, the toggles and you can add custom either applications or uh, a group of things. Like you can have your flashlight and other applications as well too. So one of my favorite tweaks that's kind of hidden here is when I receive a notification, check this out one second. Look at that cool little animation right there. That is called notification. It's subtle, but it looks pretty sweet. All of these are updated for iOS 14, running on an iPhone 12 Pro Max. It's super cool. And speaking of notifications, if you guys take a look at what my notifications look like, it's not the default. This is done with Velvet. You can completely customize and make your notifications look exactly how you want them to. One of my favorite tweaks going on here is called Dope Convos. Uh, you can pretty much customize your messages app as much as you want. Change the message color, change the theme of what's going on here. Uh, a lot of cool stuff that you can do. So real fast, I also wanted to go into Dope Convos and show you guys just Look at this interface, it's beautiful. Uh, this developer of Dope Convos also has another tweak called Links. Uh, it's kind of like Spring to Minds where you can customize just a bunch of different things in iOS. Highly recommend this app, it's pretty sweet looking. Uh, I think one of the things that I've customized is like my uh, app launcher or excuse me, multitasking pane right here. It's in this grid layout. And then another one, my status bar is just hidden. I thought that looked super clean. Anim Plus to speed up app launching. So uh, as you can see, all of my animations have pretty much disappeared. At least in-app transitions and things like that are gone, but you can completely customize this to your heart's desire. Well, let's talk about one of my favorite music tweaks next. I'm just gonna go ahead and play something and go back to the lock screen and look at that. Uh, pretty much your entire lock screen now has the album artwork color in the background. You can quickly switch uh, songs, skip or go back and uh, kind of see a cue of what's coming up next. I just love the way it looks. And again, it's only present when you're playing music. But those are pretty much my favorite top 10 paid tweaks that I use most often and I think are worth checking out. Definitely would recommend Photon. It's just a lot of fun to use. So 
Jumping to the home screen now, one of my all times favorites is Prism to bring a iOS 15 or a futuristic style control center to iOS. I just love the way it groups things. It adds your power module right here, your connectivity toggles, brightness, volume, your extra toggles down below. And I just love the fade in animation. Look at that one more time. If I swipe up, it just throws your entire home screen upward. So like I said, I'd offer up some free alternatives to some of the tweaks that I either just covered or were on screen in the background. Uh, some of these I actually covered in my last video. Again, definitely check that out if you haven't covering my favorite 35 free tweaks. So Axon's the free alternative to Groupie. Uh, honestly, like I almost like this better and it's, it's free. So, uh, you know, you win some, you lose some with buying tweaks, but that's why you watch these videos, right? And so that is what vinyl looks like in comparison to Flow, but it's free and it's uh, nice and compact. Kind of reminds me of Sylph. Still a pretty cool tweak that I thought I'd share with you guys. Ooh, that looks pretty sweet with Photon. I actually, <laughs> vinyl is looking pretty sharp. That's really uh, nice and subtle. Let's get into some of the other tweaks I wanna talk about in today's video. I actually need to install one real fast. So hot off the press, we have Battery Buddy. My battery icon right there uh, has a little smiley face on it because it's almost fully charged. Uh, that's what Battery Notch is doing right here too. It's an all right paid tweak, but not my favorite, but Battery Buddy's free and that just looks hilarious. Um, minor, subtle, but I love it. Uh, going into probably my favorite free tweak of the week though, uh, hands down has to be Short Moji 2. So it basically uh, gives you an all new keyboard. It brings bar emoji to iOS 14 before bar emoji even did. Uh, and then you have all these awesome little shortcuts right down here to copy, paste, cut, uh, undo, redo. What What is this one? Uh, select all. So super useful gestures at the bottom. Bar emoji, you can add like haptic feedback to when you touch the keys. Uh, all around, it's an amazing little uh, keyboard tweak and it's entirely free. Same thing on the home screen while we're talking about battery. Uh, we have compact battery avocado uh, to bring the battery percentage to the actual iOS 14 widget. And I'm sure you guys uh, probably noticed this music widget right here. That's actually not a tweak, that's a free uh, free widget downloadable via the app store called widget pod so back to the tweaks another one of my favorites that was just recently updated is youtube reborn it brings all of these uh, custom features to youtube for free so things like playing youtube videos in the background uh, changing your video preference to 4k things like that can be done with this one tweak it's an awesome enhancement for the youtube app so I do rock a pretty minimalistic uh, jailbreak setup here. Not too much animation going on. All of my uh, icon labels actually, uh, they're present, uh, but they fade away. And uh, they're actually not present on the widgets ever. So I thought that was pretty sweet. To go with shy labels, we have shy page dots. And to even further enhance that, we have auto hide home bar X. So it dismisses the home bar after a certain amount of time. Also, I have home bar sizer, which makes the home bar just a little bit smaller. I honestly just like how little that looks. And just little things like I never use the widget pane to the left, so that's gone. I never use the app library, so that's gone. Uh, that's done with simple home. Um, let's see, when I was playing music, I'll just jump back into the song real fast. Uh, the actual icon of my player uh, is the album artwork. All around, everything's just a little bit more subtle. I use silent screenshot, which just gives you that little fade to let you know you've taken a screenshot. Uh, if I go to the lock screen here and try to unlock my device without face ID, let's see if it'll focus. I have blank pass, so it just gets rid of the numbers on your uh, passcode. Another one on the lock screen is if you're not using Axon or Groupie, hide and see text just really cleans things up and uh, gets rid of excess text on the lock screen. 
And then from here, it's pretty much just quality of life uh, features like CC on and off to permanently enable or disable your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Honestly, Prism might do that by default. I'm not sure. Uh, what is it? Easy swipe to just swipe from the left side of your screen to get back to your lock screen. And things like adding a fifth icon to your dock. Uh, again, I'm using links to just get rid of the dock background, but I think that looks super cool. And honestly, the iPhone 12 Pro Max, I think is one of the first screen sizes that uh, could easily support five icons across. That looks super clean in my opinion. So that's some of the latest updates on some free tweaks. So a couple jailbreak bonuses. Uh, first up, we have Nonset 143, so for 14.3, but this actually lets you set your nonce uh, and gives you extra information for saving your blobs. Now, I'm hoping to do some videos coming up in a few weeks covering the whole save your blobs and use future restore to update to iOS 14.3 or downgrade with the iPhone X, but uh, basically a video explaining the possibilities as well as the limitations of blobs, but this is a super neat, awesome little tool to help you do that process. I shared this with you in one of my last jailbreak update videos, but Alt Daemon now officially works on iOS 14 on the free version of Alt Store and Alt Servers. So uh, a pretty sweet update there that basically just allows you to refresh your jailbreak apps without connecting to your computer or having that open. You can just do it on device while you're jailbroken. If you guys are searching for tweaks uh, instead of Tweak Compatible, Tweak Reviews DB uh, is kind of the new and upcoming uh, compatibility checker for tweaks. So you have this little green check mark if it's going to work on your iOS version on your device. But yes, yeah, those are some of the latest paid and free tweaks. Again, like I said, this is a video kind of about my personal jailbroken setup. And a lot of the tweaks we are, are that are on this device we talked about in my last video. Things like Shuffle that put all of your tweaks into one category. Uh, IK Settings kind of cleans up and gives the Settings app a nice new look. Uh, I think I said this earlier, but we have shy page dots and shy uh, labels to automatically fade the, those, those labels on the home screen. Dotto Plus, so if your applications have a notification, puts a little dot. Uh, next to the icon that's similar in color to the app icon color. Uh, things like no banner DMD, so if I'm in do not disturb mode or low power mode, I don't have those notifications here. It's just super clean when everything's clear. Same with no older notification text. And then I had a question about this in my last video, but Dawn can keep all of your banners, notifications, docs, widgets in dark mode at, at all times. Uh, so really what the what your dark mode toggle does is change your background now, but still super cool I honestly have it set up to automatic so I have a, a wallpaper in the daytime and then a wallpaper at night uh, Again, I'm using snowboard to have a custom theme on my icons. The theme is Lotus revised and then using cylinder reborn for the page-to-page -page animations but yeah, that pretty much wraps up all of the tweaks that I use on a daily basis. These are the ones that I feel are most important and most impactful. And honestly, I go by the rule of thumb of just having as few of tweaks installed to not degrade performance too much. Now there's a couple other favorites like Mobile Goose and uh, you know ones that just quite didn't make the cut for this video. I've included those in our Best Tech Info article Things like Better Alarm to redesign the alarm interface, BioProtect Access to protect certain apps with Face ID, Home Plus Pro to redesign your home screen layout. I think that's an awesome one, but it just doesn't quite work too well when you have widgets on your home screen. There's a couple on the lock screen like Calm for a different clock interface and Short Look, which is kind of another option instead of notification. You can actually use them both at the same time. Short Look is pretty cool. It just, it doesn't work all of the time for me. So it's, I just don't use it on a daily basis, but other tweaks like that and a couple like Melted Crayons and Groupie that I did actually have in this video just didn't highlight too much. Um, all of those are in the bonus tweaks section on the website. 
You'll also find my wallpapers as well as a, a link to widget pod and a really awesome resource to find even more tweaks and things like that. Again, all on our best tech info article along with the tweak list and source list from today's video. But yeah, that pretty much wraps it up. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know what your favorite is down below and if there's any others you think I missed or that I should include in a follow-up video. Uh, thanks so much guys for watching. This was a lot of fun to make. I'll catch you real soon. But until next time, this is Tony signing out. <laughs>